Hi, James Grundy, Maxwell Amenity Technical Manager, just out on a beautiful bowling green uh, just outside Whitchurch in Shropshire on what is an absolutely glorious um, summer's day. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh well. Um, I'm just going to have a little bit of a conversation with you about a couple of things on the green here. And uh, yeah, so I'll do the usual thing, spin this around and uh, get on with it. So as we can see, we've got some dry patch creeping in on the green. You can sort of pull out, it's an interesting stage, you can pull out different species at the moment. If I just sort of come down a little bit lower to an area in front of me, then you can see that we've got some darker green areas. If I try and get in a bit closer on there. We've got, hopefully it'll focus. There we go. We've got some bent, bent grass species, more sort of perennial bent grass species, longer roots. Um, so they're able to uh, draw, catch moisture from drawing it lower down in the root zone. And then we can pull out these paler, paler patches. That's the power annua. Bit of a problem grass. It's everywhere. Everybody's got some power annua. Um, but it's got those shallow roots. It's going to be more susceptible to the uh, drier conditions sooner. If I just come across over here to the left, then uh, get some focus. Just taking some cores out of the green. A little interesting area we've got. Uh, that's one to show up. There's a dark green area here which is uh, predominantly gr bent grass and was like it's got rained on a little bit but if I turn this over there's a lot more available moisture in this particular cross profile that I've taken out if I just come to the left a little bit you can see it's a lot paler there's the grasses are stuff in the bent grass is starting to suffer here as well you go into the bottom of that hole again there's a bit of rain in there with a few minutes now but really very dust dry if I turn this well just before I turn this core over Holotine hole full of roots proving that aeration is absolutely fantastic for the grass Just turn this over. We can see we've got some very dry areas a lot of hydrophobic nature within this soil Would really benefit from a wetting agent Just to be able to hold some moisture lower down So therefore when we do get really uh, wet dry conditions a lot of evapotranspiration as we've had over the last week or so then there's a bit of a reservoir lower down it's not as dry in the base with the way these wetting agents work so when you've got that reservoir of water then there's a little bit more available stuff for the plant to draw upon one final thing just to very quickly look at is uh, the club here I made mean, a really good investment in terms of a sorrel tine roller you can see lots of uh, nice shallow spikes just goes as cassette system that fits into their mower absolutely fantastic for getting a lot of really efficient aeration just into the surface into that thatchy layer uh, as well as helping water to penetrate um, ahead of any rain um, which we appear to be having today so i'll leave it at that